Hey guys, Mike here with Things You Might Like, and I've come across this program, Reshade, and I've enjoyed it, and I have some thoughts that I'll share in another video, but I wanted to start off by giving you guys a comprehensive install guide that works with whatever game it is that you are playing. If we go to the Games tab here, I'm at reshade.me, you can see they have a very comprehensive list of games. Now, I am going to be installing this for Battlegrounds, but the process is very much the same, and the implementation is going to be the same depending on the game. But make sure you check your release notes for your game so you can see if there's anything that doesn't quite work for your game. So at the reshade.me main page, we're going to click on download. And then down here, we are going to want to click on download. And I have it in a special reshade folder. You can see I already have it actually installed, so I'm not going to do that again. Now once it's downloaded, you can just hop right into that folder and it's just an executable file so if you double click on it there's no real install you just run it and you go and you start entering your game now I am going to be doing this for player unknowns battlegrounds that's where I learned about this program and so that's where I want to implement it but you just need to locate the game file for your game so if I go into select games it takes me right to because I already had it open the folder that I need I will link this folder down in the video description so you can just quickly copy and paste it into your address bar and I'm going to click on this TSL game application right here so then it's going to ask you to select the rendering API and it will automatically choose it for you you just have to confirm it by clicking on the text and I already have it installed but I will overwrite it to show you the steps to go through click yes do you wish to download a collection of standard effects yes and it's going to download really quick. Now, here we go. This is the list of those standard effects that they offer. And I'm going to leave it up to you to figure out which ones are going to work best for your game. There are lots of forums and posts out there that talk about the different games. I am going to jump to the ones that I would like to implement for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and the ones that I want to play around with. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to that. All right, so I have the option selected that I want and just go ahead and click OK when you are ready and it is all done. So what we'll do now is we will jump into the game and I will show you the interface really quick and to show you that once it's installed what to expect and how to get it up and going. Alright so let's jump right into the game. Now for this example I will be using Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. For those of you who came to this tutorial specifically for Reshade with Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, be sure to stay tuned for my next video I'll be posting where I will walk through more in depth the settings that I use, why I use them, and how they implement in the game and how they make the game different. So if that's what you're looking for be sure to subscribe so that you can get a notification as soon as that video is ready. So. Now that we are in the game, if you want to bring up the heads up display for Reshade, we're going to click Shift and F2. And this will be your main window where you can change all the settings. And changing the settings is as easy as clicking on the option. What I can do, I'll pull this to the side. And even though this is just an install tutorial, let me show you real quick what it's like in game so you can get off and run in yourself. So if you check out these boards back here, I'm going to click Adaptive Sharpen. And just like that, it's up and ready to go. Clarity, colorfulness, vibrance, they all have their own little function that you can come down here and create further settings. So if I go into FXAA, I can come down to FXAA and there are multiple settings I can create. And then you can select hotkeys. So I have some on F3, some on F4. So let me hit Shift F2 to get out of this. If I hit F3, I have one shader set that implements in the game. If I hit F4, I have another one. If I want to add another one, I have cartoon set to F5. It makes everything kind of cartoony. So that is a brief overview of the installation for Reshade. Now I encourage you to go out there, figure out what is going to be the best settings, how will this fit for you, because this is the whole point of Reshade. It's, it's to make games more suitable for you. And so go ahead, fiddle around with it, for those of you concerned with Battlegrounds, it has been confirmed by the developers that this is in no way cheating or hacking or anything like that. So you have the green light there. And that is going to be it. Again, if you are looking for my opinion and my settings for Reshade in Battlegrounds, be sure to stick around for my next video where I will be doing a full walkthrough of my settings and how they affect me in game. And if you like this video, if it helped you out at all, please be sure to drop it a like subscribe if I haven't said that already for future videos 
And that is going to be it for me today, guys. My name is Mike. This is Things You Might Like, and I will see you with my next cool thing.